Hey there, Jennifer DeClaire, Lead Mindset Mentor at JD Life and Career Coaching, here to help you build an attorney life that you are absolutely in love with. This golden gem is for my attorney entrepreneurs, whether you are serving clients in an attorney capacity, serving clients in another capacity, like I do mindset coaching, whether you are selling a product, whatever it may be, I'm here to tell you how you can get the juiciest most wonderful clients to work with you without efforting to get their business. Winning clients over, this is going to teach you how. First tenant, this is an assignment. My goodness, people charge for this stuff. I don't have to because what we specialize in is helping you to actually apply and do the work that it takes to get the results from this knowledge. We provide you the knowledge basically for free because really what people need is accountability, support, coaching to apply the knowledge and to get the results. And a lot of people just don't do that, right? So that's where we're, what we're here for. So I'm gonna give you this knowledge that you probably would pay a good buck for free. In order to get the juiciest clients that you love working with and you would work with day in and day out over and over and over again, right? You need to go find them right now and ask them what was going around on in their life around this particular subject that made them say, I need an attorney or insert your title here, whatever service that you're offering. Find your juiciest clients, the past clients that you loved working with and ask them that question. I dare say, ask that question uh, when they come in to work with you overall. And then when the client relationship is over, you can look back and say, did I love working with this client? I did, okay, I already have all the answers that I need so I can get more clients like him or her. But in case you haven't gathered this information as you were going along, this is the first time you're hearing this, go find your juiciest client and ask them, what was going on in your life? What was going on around this subject that made you say, I need an attorney? Now they're gonna tell you a story and then that story is gonna imply some feelings. It's gonna imply a set of feelings that they had, um, this train of thought that they had. So the details of the story itself may make good fodder for um, a social media post, you know, change identifying details or whatnot, just to catch people's attention because people like stories. But what you're really looking for is their train of thought and the feelings that underlie that, that train of thought because this is the train of thought and the set of feelings that other people like that client are currently having as they come up to the thought of, I need an attorney. So if you can express that, in your website copy or your social media posts or whatever it is, you will catch their attention because you are saying what's on their mind and they didn't even like know you prior to reading this website or, or reading your post. So that connection is instantly established with your juiciest client. You don't wanna put forth the story of, or the thoughts or the emotions of the type of person that you wouldn't like to work with. And that's where a lot of entrepreneurs get tripped up is they go and they read some Google articles on how to market, or they even order a course on how to establish their estate planning firm. And then they grab the marketing copy that is offered to them in those things, or they read other people's websites and grab the marketing copy offered to them without thinking what kind of client would think and feel this way before they get an attorney. And do I want that kind of client? So when you are looking for the right marketing words for your business and for your life and so that you could have the juiciest of clients begging to work for you, you want to go find your A plus clients of the past and ask them that question. If you haven't had clients ever before, or you're doing something brand new, then you know, let's talk deeper about where you can get that information from. There are other options. However, you, if you have clients, if you have sold your services before, pick the best of the bunch and do this marketing research with them. The next thing you want to find out from them is how did they feel when they got the services? Or if it's a potential client, because I ask potential clients this, based off of that, you said you want this. 
and they don't know what they really want or need. We know that already, especially if you're working in a in a skilled field, like you know, you're an attorney or you're a therapist, or you provide a service that they don't know the ins and outs of. They just know how they want to feel at the end of the day. So that middle part is really your determination. But what you want to find out from them is how would you feel? What is it that you, you're hoping to achieve by our working together? And they're not going to name off, well, I want such and such legal document, and I want it to be revised three or four times, and I want such and such motions to be filed on my behalf. They don't know those things. That's your job, right? And most attorneys want to list off the things that you'll do in order to get them the result. They're just interested in the result. Whatever that thing is in the middle, they're not trying to micromanage you, not the right clients. It's up to you to decide what will get them that result. As long as you built that trust and that trust is built with the first part of knowing how they think and how they feel and what they want as they're gearing up to hire an attorney. Once you've expressed that you understand that part of them, you've built that trust. And so if you say, this is what's gonna get you what you want, they'll, they'll listen to you. So what you want to find out is what they hope to achieve in this relationship and what they will answer you is usually going to be something around their peace of mind, the actual result they want. Like I wanna have my children home more often and I wanna know exactly where they are. You know what steps that you have to take in that family law case in order to make that happen, but they're telling you what they want. Then go one step further. How would that make you feel to receive that? Now you're getting the juiciness. How would it make you feel to receive the results that they said that they're seeking with you? And at this point, we're not going into caveats and all this stuff about the results aren't guaranteed. You can cover that later, okay? How would it make you feel to get these results? And how would that change your world, impact your life? You want those two pieces. Those are the most critical pieces because after you've drawn them in by expressing the thoughts and feelings that they're having that they didn't know anybody else was privy to, you know, because you did your marketing research. After you draw them in with that, the next is expressing what it is that they want. They want comfort. They want stability. They want predictability. They want to know someone has their back. They want whatever it is that they want from the relationship with you. And then how would that make them feel to have that? Now you're speaking their language. Now you're speaking the dreams that they dare not dream. Now they will go sell their firstborn child in order to work with you. Not really, scratch that. <laughs> but this has tapped into their innermost desires. And they're one, really surprised at how you would know that, that they really want this, you know, cause you're injecting this into your copy, your packages, your website, your social media posts, you're injecting this stuff into there, you know, work with, you know, whatever company or, you know, join up with us to work on your adoption package so that you can, and then insert those benefits that they were looking for, insert those dreams that they're wanting, the feelings words, the impact on their world. That's what they're looking for. Not X amount of documents, so many revisions, so many motions, or what, that's not what they're looking for. They're looking for the feeling, and the benefit. Put that in your copy, you will repeatedly bring to yourself the juiciest clients that you always want to work with. And remember, the trick to that is asking these questions to those people who you actually want to work with. That's what I've got for you, this golden gem. If you need help actually implementing these things and following through with all the advice that you're getting from this channel, then look below for a way to chat. Bye for now.